A guy named Philippe approaches Alex at their college reunion and confesses his feelings to her. Alex basically friend zones the guy, but he still tries to get her. While this is happening, a mysterious woman in a blue dress is watching them. She approaches Alex, and it turns out that she's an old classmate. Alex talks about the love life situation with the woman, who then hypnotizes her, telling her that she can change her. The woman then sprouts fangs and bites Alex on the neck. The next day, Alex wakes up in her bed after having a nightmare that she has no reflection but has vague memories of a vampire. She comes down to talk to Dr. Corrigan, who tells her that she's feverish and tells her to go back to bed. Just then, the doctor gives herself a paper cut and starts to bleed. This results in Alex seeing things in slow motion and getting lightheaded. Dr. Corrigan then takes her to bed. Later that night, Dr. Corrigan checks on Alex in a room. Alex tells her about the strange dream she's having. She tries to give Alex some water, which she now can't digest. Alex then snaps at Rachel for then trying to give her a vitamin B12 shot. Rachel leaves her with a bowl of soup, which she then looks at before she realizes she's bleeding from the shot. Alex takes the blood and licks it off her finger. That's when her window is blown open and the mysterious woman begins calling her. Out in the woods, the woman appears and asks Alex if she's hungry, which Alex seductively admits she is. The woman tells Alex that she knows what she needs and that feeling she has is the urge to kill, and that it'll only get stronger. She tells Alex to give in to the feeling so that her transformation can be complete. Then she takes a bite of Alex's arm. Taking you first, your transformation will be complete. The next morning, Rachel checks on Alex and suggests she needs to see a doctor, but Alex assures her she should be fine with more bed rest. Philippe shows up wanting to see Alex. Rachel wakes her up and Alex is happy to see him. She tells Philippe she may be interested. He strokes her hair and as she falls asleep, he notices bite marks on her neck. As he leaves, he tries to convince Rachel to put in a good word in for him with her. Alex then comes to the room while Nick is looking at security footage. He tells her if she's not feeling well, she should go to bed. Alex then hypnotizes him before kissing him and fanging out and going for his neck. She decides at the last possible second she can't do it and walks off. Nick then wakes up very confused. Derek comes in and tells him he must have blacked out. Derek then gets a call from the coroner about a mysterious body. They go to the coroner and it's the body of a female that's been drained of blood. Derek informs the coroner that it's the work of a vampire. That night, the mysterious woman shows up in Alex's room. She shows Alex that her reflection is going away. Alex explains to the woman that she couldn't go through with the feeding on Nick. The woman tells Alex that as soon as she feeds, she'll feel a lot stronger. The woman then takes a bite of her own wrist and feeds her blood to Alex. Alex then says she knows what she has to do. She has to kill. Philippe makes one last stop to visit Alex. As Derek examines her, Philippe tells him that Alex has been bitten by a vampire. Derek explains that they can prevent her from fully turning if they keep her from feeding and by killing the head vampire. He then goes into Vampire Killing 101. Nick is sent to guard Alex as Derek believes there's a chance that Philippe is the vampire. 
The motion detectors then go off and Derek and Philippe go off to see what they can find. Meanwhile, back at the compound, Alex wakes up and seduces, then hypnotizes Nick. When Derek and Philippe can't get in touch with Nick, they head back, but they don't make it in time before Alex bites him. On the way back, Derek is attacked by a giant bat. The bat turns into a vampire whose name we find out is Justine. When Philippe comes to the rescue, she turns back into the bat and flies off and heads to Alice's room where she watches her bite Nick. When Derek and Philippe get back to the compound, they try to get Alice to stop, but Justine informs them that she's hers. Philippe stakes and then kills Justine and then tries to take Alex, but Alex resists, saying that she needed Justine. We then get the ultimate swerve that Philippe is in fact the head vampire and attacks Derek. Alex then tells Philippe that she'll go with him as long as he spares Derek. As they walk off, Rachel attempts to keep Nick alive so that Alex won't turn. Derek tries to keep Alex from leaving, but is unsuccessful. To be continued. Eventually, Rachel revives Nick, buying Derek time before Alex becomes a full vampire. Flea brings Alex to his lair. Alex is suffering from some major bloodlust, but Flea tells her that it's almost dawn and she needs to sleep, but allows Alex to feed off of him first. You need it. We then find out through someone named Marcus that Philippe has an elixir that he drinks that allows him to appear like he's human. Derek goes to visit Nick in the hospital and they try to understand how they couldn't figure out that Philippe was a vampire. Derek deduces that Philippe hypnotized them to believe that he had a reflection in the mirror. When Nick tries to leave the hospital to go after Alex, Derek convinces him that she still has to feed on him to turn so he should stay put as Alex will eventually come to him. That night, Alex awakes and walks through Philippe's lair, running into other vampires. At the hospital, Philippe's partner Marcus attacks Nick, but Derek stops him. Marcus then jumps out the window to his death, and when the coroner and Derek look over his body, they find Philippe's elixir. Meanwhile, Alex is still walking through the lair and notices that she burns in the sunlight as Philippe stops her. Philippe explains that Justine stepped over her boundaries with Alex, and he wanted her to choose to be a vampire and not be forced. Back at the morgue, it's revealed that Marcus was some type of zombie. Derek plans on watching the body for when it revives after dark, then following him to see where he goes. At the lair, Philippe gives Alex the rules of being a vampire. Marcus eventually heads back there, not knowing that Derek and Nick are following him. When Derek and Nick arrive at the lair, they go on a vampire killing spree. Eventually they do split up, but Nick then gets overwhelmed by the vampires. Marcus stops them from hurting him, letting them know that Alex must feed on him. In the main chamber, Alex gets all seductive and touchy-feely with the now tied up Nick. Philippe orders Marcus to capture Derek, which he does, but not before Derek plants a bomb there. Philippe sets it up so that Derek can watch Alex feed on Nick. When she goes in for a bite, Derek stops her by trying to remind her who she is. Goodbye, Nick. Alex, wait. Think of what you're doing. You're not a murderer. Philippe then asks Alex to show that she's a killer. He hands her a sword and tells her to kill Derek. She instead kills Philippe and the three escape just before the bomb goes off. The episode ends with a now human Alex outside picking flowers. She cuts herself and as she sucks the blood from her finger, the viewer can see a mysterious figure in the background. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to know every time I update. If you want to help my channel grow, please check out my Patreon where you can get access to content early as well as see the content that can't be uploaded here on YouTube link will be in the description. Until next time.